In this tutorial, we're going to look at the best financial data providers for those looking to import financial data into their application. So whether you're looking for stock, crypto, Forex, ETF, financial news, or macroeconomic data, this tutorial will help you find the right data provider. Now keep in mind that there is no single best provider, it just really depends on the specific data that you need, the types of applications that you're building, as well as your budget. Now at Chaos Theory, we build our own trading bots and we also teach people how to build their own trading bots and financial applications without code. Now I've provided a link in the description below if you're interested in learning how to build trading bots like the one you see in front of you now without having to code. And because this is our line of work, we need to source fast, accurate and reliable financial data to pull in to our trading bots or financial applications. Therefore, over the years, we've experimented with many data providers. So today I'm going to share with you some of my favorites. So let's jump in. So first up, we have Polygon. Now, what I personally love about Polygon is that they have an incredibly easy to use API with great documentation and an easy to work with interface. With Polygon, you can access stock, uh, options, uh, currencies, including Forex and cryptocurrencies, as well as futures data. Now, if we look over at their API documentation, you'll see that it's very well organized and documented. And by simply logging in with a free account, you'll be able to run API calls directly through their documentation. This allows you to test and study their data input requirements, as well as the data output structure, which in my experience has made the process of working with Polygon data within my own applications much easier, as I tend to have a very strong understanding of data formats and requirements early on. Now, this just helps me build quicker, and this is one of the main reasons why I love this API. Now let's look over at pricing. So Polygon offers pricing for both individuals as well as businesses. So let's look at individual pricing first. As you can see, Polygon has a free tier, which allows you to get started working with their APIs. Now, the biggest limitation of their free plan is that the data is not real time. You'll be dealing only with end of day data. You'll also be limited to only five API calls per minute, and you can only access up to two years of historical data. However, you will be given access to fundamental data as well as technical indicators. So this is really a great plan to get you started. And then up from this plan, you'll see plans ranging from $29 to $199 a month. With these plans, you'll get unlimited API calls and much more generous historical data timeframes, but you'll still be dealing with your data being delayed by 15 minutes. It's not until you pay $199 a month that you get access to real-time data. Again, depending on the application that you're building, this might not be a big deal, but it's just something to keep in mind. However, the biggest consideration with Polygon's pricing is that these individual plans are just that. They are for use by individuals. So if you're building a trading bot or some type of financial insights platform for yourself, then these plans would be a great jumping off point. However, if you're trying to build a platform where you're going to be onboarding users who could then use your financial tools, then these pricing options would not work and you'd need to upgrade to their business plan. And as you can see, when we do that, you'll see that they have a very robust plan here, but the pricing starts at roughly $2,000 a month, which is out of reach for most indie builders. So if you're a bigger business with a budget, then this is a great option. Or if you're an indie builder building something for yourself, then I think this is also a great option. So next up, we have 12 data. Now at Chaos Theory, we use 12 data APIs in most of our financial applications. The reason being is because 12 data offers an enormous depth of data, including access to over 160,000 stock symbols, over 2,000 Forex trading pairs, over 4,800 crypto trading pairs, and over 25,000 ETF symbols. And their API documentation is also very easy to use and understand. And they offer a free tier, which offers real-time data to help you get started. However, with their free plan, you won't get access to certain API endpoints. For example, you won't get access to a company's fundamental data. You would need to upgrade to get access to that type of data. However, upgrading is seamless and very affordable. And even though it's showing that the grow plan starts at $79 per month, you can lower that by simply selecting a smaller daily API limit here. And then as your financial data needs grow, you can simply upgrade to more daily API calls. Or if you require more data or different data sets, for example, things like after hours trading data, company fundamental data, a stock statistics data, or insider transaction data, then you can upgrade to any of these other plans here. Also, the range of technical indicators that they have within their platform is unbelievable. Now, these technical indicators power many of the bots that we build at Chaos Theory, and we've had such a great experience working with such a wide range of powerful technical indicators. 
Now, in terms of individual versus commercial use, 12 data is a very appealing option, especially for indie builders, because even though it doesn't make it very clear on their pricing page, the free and grow plans are for individual use only. However, any plan that is a pro plan or above can use the data within commercial applications. This means that if you're building a user facing application, you can get started with this data for roughly $99 per month. So this is much more reasonable commercial pricing, especially for indie builders. Next up, we have FMP or Financial Modeling Prep. Now, one of the things that I love most about FMP is their range of data. FMP as a data source goes way beyond price related data. So for example, here, if you look through their API documentation, you'll see that you get access to traditional data sets like price and earnings data. But beyond that, you'll also get access to rarer data sets like statement analysis, price targets, news, SEC filings, an IPO calendar, Senate purchases, insider transactions, economic data, and so on. So if range of data is what you're looking for, FMP is a great option. Another thing that I like about FMP is that they have a stock screener endpoint. This allows you to discover stocks based on market cap, price, volume, beta, country, sector, and industry, to name only a few examples. Now, in terms of pricing, the personal use plans range from free to $139 per month. Again, for the more affordable plans, expect lower daily API calls and more delayed data. However, if you click on commercial, what you'll notice is that their commercial pricing starts at $139 per month, which isn't that bad. But as you can see, the commercial license only grants access for internal commercial use. If you want to be able to redistribute the data to external users, you'll need to get in contact with them for customized pricing based on your use case. Now, next up, we have EOD HD. Now, I love this financial data provider because, again, this is a data provider that provides a huge range of financial data beyond price, volume, and technical indicator data. So if you're looking for a data provider to gain access to rarer or more exotic data types, then perhaps EOD HD is what you're looking for. So if we go here under solutions, let's select show all APIs. Now, notice here you have your real-time data APIs and web sockets. But then under that, you'll notice that you'll also have access to fundamental data as well as a stock screener API. Now, if you scroll down even further, you'll notice that you have access to alternative data such as economic events, financial news, including new sentiment, macro indicators and macro economic data. Now, in terms of pricing, individual plans start from zero to ninety nine dollars per month and commercial use plans for internal use start at two hundred and ninety nine dollars per month. Now, within a financial application that we've been building recently, we were using EODHD data to pull in news and sentiment data into our application, like you can see on the screen here. Now, this essentially gives us an at a glance snapshot of the news velocity as well as news sentiment data for any asset that we were following. And remember, if you want to learn how to build applications like the one you see on the screen in front of you now without having to know how to code, then be sure to check us out over at Chaos Theory to learn more. I've linked to our course below as well as provided a coupon code for $100 off. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this tutorial on financial data APIs valuable. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest in no code trading bot development news. Also, if you're looking for a fascinating and inspiring video to watch about the life changing power of quantitative trading, be sure to check out this mini doc, which we created and I've also linked to below where we explore Jim Simon's approach to building one of the most successful quant funds ever created, which helped him amass billions of dollars in trading revenue and skyrocketed him to becoming one of the richest men in the world. So again, I'll leave a link to that video below. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for stopping by.